Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're out in the western suburbs of Chicago and I'm with no stranger to the channel, Humberto Garcia, good to see you. Hi Lou, welcome back. And he's got a great car and uh, he's a Lincoln Continental fan. What is the car that we have here today? Today we have a 79 Lincoln Mark V Cartier Edition. And the Cartier Edition, how many editions are there in 79? There's uh, six different uh, editions. Uh, and this is one. Uh, this is a Cartier, one of them. Let me show this car. And this car, the amazing thing with this car, the amazing thing with this car is this car is all original. Tell me how you found this car. I found this car on eBay, uh, trying to find a couple of parts for a customer's car. And when I got the car, uh, the auction sold for three seventy-five. $375. $375. And when I uh, got the car, I realized that the car was in very good condition to be put apart for two pieces. <laughs> so you shared with me that when this car came to you, it was it came on a uh, tow truck. Correct. And, and when they towed this car, what happened with this car was you thought it was the wrong car because it looked so good. That is correct. I thought it was the wrong vehicle. The car was in way too good of a condition. And I thought this dumb truck driver towed the wrong car. Uh, with a car got, I mean, this is the way you see it. I did a couple repairs. A description on eBay said uh, that it had a bad engine, bad transmission, and severe problems with the suspension and the steering, which I find out it was not accurate. Uh, the engine needed to, the firing order needed to be corrected. That solved the engine issue. The transmission problem, I replaced the, the tail shaft so that corrected the transmission leak. And the steering and suspension problem was nothing but the rack copper, which is $5 to repair. So the engine problem was a bad firing order. Correct. There was a couple of literal $5 parts to replace in the steering and the transmission. Now pausing for a second. Humberto, share with us what you do, what, what you're living. Where, where are we at right now? Oh, we're in Carpentersville, Illinois. And, and what's your shop? Meadowdale Performance Garage. Meadowdale Performance. So for you, these $5 parts all make sense, but for somebody who doesn't know how to fix a transmission, you know, this is this is a benefit that you have. And they should, they, they can come and take their car, and you've been fixing cars like this for Absolutely. quite no, some $5, time. maybe for 15 but I'll fix it. <laughs> and we've got the hideaway headlights. We'll make sure that we turn the, those on when we get in the car. Let me get into the car. And there's the Cartier right there. Thank you. And as soon as you get into it, what a big door, right? I mean, Correct. You're like, you're like six foot one, stand right next to that door. I mean, it's it's got some size to it, and the carpet here at the bottom, and here, the Mark Six, excuse me, Mark Five, Mark Five, and all the build information on the car. The vehicle does have some issues that I'll be correcting shortly, Luke, but it's 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 a survivor. Yeah, this is. This is wonderful. <laughs> really enjoyed the Lincoln dashboards and you got connected to the Lincoln car because your father, when you were five, introduced you, brought home a Lincoln. It was 1970 when my dad showed me a catalog for a 71 Mark III and that did it, Luke. That's, that's the beginning of the, my failure. And, and might I add for people, they want to... Uh, take a look at the 1971 Mark III because um, we videoed the, that car that you, when you came to uh, the United States, um, now have. The Continental Mark V. Now I'm noticing it just says Continental, it doesn't say Lincoln there, which is a little bit interesting. And you'll realize that because in the next car we're going to show you, which is another different edition of a 79, it does have the word Continental there. So you've got a lot of detail across the gauges there up top. You can see. And then let's and you know, it. like all Continentals, uh, it has a Cartier clock, which don't get confused. Every Lincoln after 70 
has a Cartier clock. It don't mean it's a Cartier edition, but it's a Cartier clock. Got it. Okay, let's go under the hood for a moment, shall we? Just remember, it's all original. That's a long hood. Okay, As you can see, Lou, it's got the original spark plug wires, the original cap, the original AC compressor. Everything is original underneath the hood. Even the radiator cap. 1979 Motocraft. Remember on the 71, we had that little orange light on top yes. of the cowl? Well, now it's underneath the hood. And this is for... Uh, That's a Twilight Sentinel. Got it. Let me just jump on the side if you would, please. Look at all of the detail on the valve cover that you can see. You can see the firing order on the wires, which aftermarket wires don't have the firing order. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. All original. That's awesome. Let's fire her up. Exhaust note. Yeah, no exhaust there. Humberto, give it just a little rev. You know, like a uh, not a not a big you know muscle car sound, but a wonderful ooh, a sound of well, power. Well, this is a 400. Uh, cubic inch engine only. Yeah. Uh, it was completely detuned from the previous years. EPA mandates now how many horsepower every vehicle can have uh, and the weight of the vehicle. So it's a very detuned engine. Still has very respectable 229 horsepower. Yeah, and, and, it, and it sounds powerful though. I mean, it Correct. sounds like, oof, it's got a nice rush to it. Correct. All right, let's, uh, let's shut her off. Would you like to see the car waking up? Yeah, the headlights? Yes. Yeah, of course. I'm glad you pointed that out. Waking up. I like that. <laughs> oh, yeah, beautiful. Let's stay right there for a second. Oh, bring it back up one more. And then there's that piece that you mentioned right there. All right, let me drop back. And we'll put it asleep. I think they're vacuum sensors, so they're gonna come down. Yeah, there they go. Just like that. The vacuum sensor was perfect. Emberto, a great car. Thank you so much for sharing your car with us. Thanks for being again on my car store. No problem, Lou. Come back soon.